Hello everyone, welcome to iImaginations LM11 Lake Minnewanka 11K Backcountry Site Rating. What do you most need to hear from this land, from this space? We are on Treaty 7 territory, the lands of the Blackfoot Confederacy, Sutina Nation, Yahe Nakoda, and Region 3 Métis Nation of Alberta. We're in Banff National Park and along Lake Minnewanka. I will also be providing, uh, this is a, a playlist thing that I'm going to add to my channel, which will just be environmentals. So you don't even have to sit and have a reading, you can just sit and enjoy this environment for a while if that is something you would like to do. Uh, but for this uh, session, we are with group number one, those of you who chose the Wild Unknown Tarot Lid. So let's begin with the Wild Unknown Tarot. A uh, couple of housekeeping notes is that I consider myself to be an R-rated reader. That means we could talk about deep and heavy subject matter, sexual subject matter, and it's very likely that I'll swear. So if any of that offends your sensibilities, now is the time to change videos. If you're continuing to stay on with me, know that this is a general reading and it may not resonate for every single one of you. Uh, it's very important to be able to uh, support your readers, intuitive oracles, divinations, whatever methodology they're using, but one-to-one uh, -one readings are the best and most accurate way that you can get information from these types of sessions. With that being said, let's get into your reading, group number one. So we've had some follow cards already, and we're going to explore them now. So under the deck, we start with Five of Pentacles reversed. So group number one, I would normally ask you, have you been having a really ridiculously hard time? Have you been pulling yourself out of a, a space of lack or depression or, you know, ill health, for example? Um, it kind of has the fundamental root to what the messages are going to be about. And it's going to be about healing, it's going to be revitalizing, it's going to be re-energizing. This rose that's kind of dying as a bloom will need to be nurtured for it to come back to life. Um, kind of like, you know, Beauty and the Beast with his wilting rose and it having to flourish again. What we have going on here, Three of Wands, Five of Wands reversed, Ace of Cups, Ten of Wands, and Page of Swords reversed. Now, I see these as like bookends to this Ace of Cups. Perhaps it's either that you're desiring new emotional connections, or that you're making new emotional connections, or that you want emotional romantic connections, because connecting with people emotionally does not have to be romantic. But new opportunities in connecting in that way are coming for you, if not already here. On one side of it, we have, I feel like I've been denying myself the ability to have connections with other people, if romantic or otherwise, because um, there's been a lot of conflict going on, and I feel like I don't have the space for new emotional connections in my life. However, you've been waiting a long time, waiting for it to come, waiting for you to have space for, for the right kind of divine timing. And now that things are calming down, now that you're maybe not as stressed out, maybe you've changed some scenarios in your life, maybe you've wrapped up a bunch of projects you've been doing, things are not as complex. You're not feeling assaulted all the time. And so that gives space to have new emotional beginnings. And furthermore, on the other side of it, we have lack of communication issues as well as overburden. So maybe you were like really, maybe you were involved with other people and kind of caught up with trying to have an engagement with them, but it, they were like ghosting in and out or like kind of giving you just enough to keep you kind of hooked and um, either playing games or just not fully invested in you wanting and trying and and investing in communicating with them and not receiving it back and that being a burden to you. But also it could be the fact in a 
career sense, for example, or too many projects that you've attached yourself to where you're just like, I um, am overburdened, I'm burnt out, I can't even like have a solid good communication with anyone because when I talk I'm either like, I'm so drained, or you're just venting and spilling out all of the bullshit that's been happening in your life. So, let's get some clarity on these cards, shall we? Let's find out about the Three of Wands. Okay. We have the Knight of Wands reversed. So maybe, again, you've been caught up with people who are kind of in and out, fuckboy energy or just temporary energy. Wheel of Fortune reversed. So that might have been what's been keeping you waiting, either being attached to stuff that was not exactly what you were looking for in an emotional connection, um, or maybe you had said, oh yeah, I can totally have one night stand kind of deals, but really you ended up getting emotionally attached and it kind of spiraled from there because there's obviously nothing wrong with having one night stands. It's just about what we actually want to get out of a scenario that matters most. Um, also, it wasn't really the right time. Perhaps the whole being constantly confronted with Knight of Wands reversed energy um, non-committal fuckboy energy, uh, is sort of that process of demonstrating to the universe that this is not what you want. You want something more, uh, committed or connected and that you're willing to wait for it. Let's find out about the five of wands reverse, please. We have the page of swords. So, it could be that through communication with colleagues, co-workers, etc., or friend groups, or family, open communication has diffused a lot of conflict. Now, conflict, with especially with the Five of Wands, could have really been stemming from like a lot of people gossiping or having different ideas, being like, well, I thought it was this, and no, I thought it was this, and don't you think that looks like this kind of thing? But... There's been open communication, and whatever that is, if it's social work otherwise, um, clarifying things has really helped take that weight off of your shoulders. Let's find out about the... That's a lot of cards. Let's redo that. Sorry. I need ten of ones. Okay, okay, and there's this one. Knight of Cups reversed, and the King of Cups reversed. So, your burnout definitely did not both allow you to be emotionally open and available to other individuals, romantic or otherwise, as well as attracting that into your life. You were very closed off because you were burnt out. You could barely, like, make yourself function. Maybe you were in a heavy depression because of burnout. Um the stuff that poured out of you was just the toxicity of your situation constantly needing to outpour but never emptying um yeah i'm really sorry to hear that that's a very heavy time to be experiencing uh, it does seem like it's changed though or that it's about to change for you with the king of coins or pentacles reversed um and the page of swords reversed. Now we have that twice here, okay? One upright, one reverse. And when in the reversal, perhaps when things weren't being communicated clearly, a lot of it was around stability or responsibility or structures or boundaries. Um, but it could also be about, uh, you know, father figures in your life or responsible figures or structure or authority figures. It doesn't have to be father as engendered. Let's get Ace of Cups clarity, please. The King of Swords reversed. Okay, I need more clarity on that. Okay. The Hierophant and the Four of Swords. So, you've really been probably caught up in your head, group number one. That, 
you know, I've been listening to readers, I've been listening to and reading about and looking at the stars and whatever, and everyone tells me that these things are going to happen and they never do, kind of thing. And here I am, and I'm going to be like, Ace of Cups, it's going to happen for you. Because you're probably at a space right now where you can tell that you have recovered from your burnout. You can tell that you've crested through to the other side. You can look back and see how heavy and burdened and shitty you felt and see that you are on the upswing. If that's the case for you, you have moved into the process that things are now going to open up for you. If that's not the case for you, you're in the process of doing that. And so you're on your way. Okay. Um, but the belief that connections, emotional, romantic, otherwise was not a possibility in your head because you were closed off or you were like stuck in uh, negative thinking patterns. However, taking rest, R and R, self care, rejuvenation, really recovering from, I'm just going to keep going with burnout here is part of what is your recovery path. What opens up new things to be able to come into your life. Now the hierophant is very interesting because it says it could be of like extremely higher level commitment, but it could also just be extremely impactful for you along the course of your life, whether that person remains or not. It could be something that lasts for the long term, could change the structures or values within your life, but it could also be longer term commitment. Underneath the deck, we have the fool. And the fool very much is like a new journey, something that you would be afraid of, uh, but you're willing to walk the path anyway, even though you don't know what's going to happen. So let's get for you group number one. Sounds like really some emotional connectivity hasn't been coming into your life. Um, you've been extremely burdened. You've been burnt out. You've been not finding what has been suiting your um, attachment styles. You've been having to dispel gossip and communication issues and boundary shit and oh my god, just fucking exhausting. But finding yourself, being able to now take care of yourself, making space, um, rejuvenation, and now romantic and emotional connectivity is opening up to you. What kind of last guidance advice does group number one need? The Three of Pentacles to me says, um, the first, you may not be a poly or an open relationship type, and that's totally okay. Uh, secondly, it could be that you may not work or meet this individual through work or through like a professional environment. And thirdly, it's like, maybe it won't be so much through collaborating with others that these opportunities come through. So maybe it's through some direct intention by yourself as a vision of like, I want to make connections and I'm going to go out there and put myself out there and make that. Let's clarify the three of pentacles, please, for final advice for group number one. We have the eight of chalices and the king of wands. So, it's really important that you go on a retreat, whether it's in your backyard, whether it's going somewhere else, up to you, however that retreat looks. This is about going and continuing to nurture yourself, continuing to find yourself, continuing to reflect, basically on the stuff that you've been processing. It's not about like, I must totally obsess about this new romantic opportunity. But as you continue to care for yourself and walk away from things that no longer serve you, some sexy ass attractive energy is going to be coming in for you. Um, and just, I would say, be open to it. Have discernment. Always have discernment. But opportunities are going to come. And then you have to see, like over here, whether this actually is of value to you or not. Does this match? Does it resonate? If it doesn't, don't even fucking give it any of your energy, okay? Um, if it does, explore it and be aware of red flags. 
You know, don't be like, oh, well, maybe, I don't know. We're just going to, we're just going to keep going with it. Like red flags are important as is communication. Okay. So group number one, this is what I have for you as information that you needed to know right now. I'm going to now be silent and I'm going to allow us to sit in this space while I clean up my cards. Uh, I appreciate you being here with me this time. You can also take the time to go check out being immersed in this environment if you would like to just have that experience. And we'll see you next time, group number one. Thank you.